Welcome to the boiler room. This is where it all starts and happens here. We have incoming water going into these boilers where it's heated. Steam is produced and goes out to the engine room where it turns the turbines that turn the generators. The generators make the electricity which flows to the distribution panels on the far side of the building and goes out to the grid from there. This is a diagram of just a simple water tube boiler, of which we have 16 here, built here in pairs. Feed water comes in from above into a drum. It flows down through three inch diameter tubes into the two feed water or mud drums. The heat is coming in from this corner that flows up through the entire structure exiting in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, steam and water drums will collect the hot water as it rises and vents off to the engine room for use. The water as it comes in is dense because it's not heated and heavier, so you have a natural circulation flow as the water heats, it gets lighter and rises up. So there's no pumps involved in this process. Periodically, sediment from the two mud drums from the incoming water needs to be uh, drained off and removed. Once heat is applied to this boiler, as long as you have heat and incoming water, it will continue to operate. We have equalizing tubes between all the drums, so the pressure and the water level uh, does not get out of balance. These boilers are large metal structures with insulated with fire bricks. Think of them as an oven like it in your house. So they build the drums and the tubes separately on a structure, are not attached to the outline or to the exterior of the boiler due to thermal heating expansion and contraction when the fire is removed, they cool off and then build the exterior walls around it. The boilers, as you see them now, are heated by fuel oil, which is what they were constructed with initially in 1906 and 7. 1917, the oil was replaced by coal during World War I and II. The coal mechanism is no longer visible here because in 1946, when the steam plant was switched back to oil, all the coal mechanism was removed. Each boiler is fired by three burners. You have warm fuel oil pumped into it along with steam. The steam and the fuel oil go into a burner uh, under pressure. It's atomized and sprays out. The burner is lit with a torch uh, dipped in kerosene. At that point, the boiler is self-sustaining until fuel is removed. This is item number one on the list. This is the firebox access door. One, it shows the insulation brick, the fire brick. Two, if you look up and to the right, you will see the outside of the water tubes carrying the water through the heated area up to the upper steam drums. This is item number two on the boiler room punch list. This is the mud drum, one of the two mud drums, which is filled with water, showing on the top of the drum, you have the openings to the water tubes, the three inch tubes that take the water through the firebox area up to the steam drums. Uh, the logo of the Sterling Boiler Company that was cast into this at the factory when this was built, these were cast in 1906-1907 time frame. Beautiful craftsmanship. Above our heads, there are some thick concrete pipes and pilings 
They hold a 20,000 gallon water tank that is the feed water for all the boilers. That tank is filled from city water supply. The steam produced in these boilers flows out to the engine room, as I mentioned, and it flows out in those large, white, heavily insulated pipes to the engine room for use there. One of the items I noticed about a year ago is the red gauge above my shoulder. It shows how much water is in the 20,000 gallon feed water tank above our heads. There is a float in the feed water tank that rises as the water level increases and the plumb bob on the gauge comes down showing how much water is in the feed water tank. Some of the auxiliary equipment that helps the operation of the boiler room is this structure above my left shoulder. It's a heater. It heats the fuel oil uh, before it goes into the piping for the boilers. Fuel oil by its nature is, is thick and gelatinous, and without this heater, it wouldn't flow. The heater is operated by steam. A very necessary piece of equipment at startup for the boilers is this small auxiliary boiler that flows hot water through each boiler before it is lit off. This provides hot water for the tubes, so the tubes are somewhat warm when water and heat are applied so the tubes don't crack. Above me, you see one of the access points for boiler number eight. The access door is open, showing the bricks, the fire bricks that insulate the boiler. Periodically, the bricks burn up and need to be replaced. The doors are opened when the boiler is cold. They are knocked down into the fire drum, the fire pit, and removed by hand, and the boiler is re-bricked internally, one brick at a time.